Hey, what up YouTube? How you guys doing? This is my first Dota 2 video. So for you guys that didn't know, it's probably a big surprise because I don't I don't communicate as much as I should on my on my YouTube um, about what I'm gonna be doing in the future. But I am making a big change, going to a Dota 2 as my main game. <clears throat> I'm still gonna play Smite a little bit and still make some videos here and there and still scrim. But Dota 2 is gonna be my new Smite. Um, I made a big decision. It's been uh. I feel pretty confident about it. Um, I'm just doing it because I believe it's my passion. And um, in life, sometimes as I've got older, I learn to appreciate time and passion more than I do money. And so that's why I'm making this decision. I'm still young and, and still I have a lot of time to succeed in other places. So I'm going to give it my best shot at this and going to give it my all. I'm excited to give it my all. Um, so I'm going to make my first video introduction on wow, I did, what, me making the change plus the first explanation of dota so let's teach dota first first things first there is how many heroes we're not counting there's a hundred and something so strength agility intelligence what does this mean when there's strength agility and intelligence heroes they're heroes not gods anymore heroes guys you gotta get that stuck strength means when you build items that have strength um they they have when uh, they get HP and base damage from it, right? Strength for all characters is HP, but strength for um, strength characters is HP and it increases your base damage. Um, agility increases your armor and attack speed if you're an agility character. And um, if you're not an agility character, agility just increases your armor. I think and your attack speed is no, not your attack speed. Or is it attack it speed? The, it does. It's the damage thing. It does attack speed for everyone and armor for everyone. Oh, and it's it attack speed. It's only agility, correct? All right, perfect. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it only gives agility heroes damage. Perfect. Bottom, and intelligence is gives you mana regardless of what character you are. Intelligence gives you mana, but it also gives you base damage and spell amp. No. I know. I think it might give you spell amp. I know for sure it gives you base damage, and then you also get some uh, mana regen. Off of it too. Oh yeah, mana region. <clears throat> um, and so another thing to teach too. I'm just gonna try to be a little bit broad on the characters and just try to teach the basics. Um, when when you're looking at the these characters, mostly there is carry characters in almost every single role. So it's not just like, for example, in Smite or in League of Legends, right? The Hunter is usually the hard carry. In, in Dota, Strength, Agility, and Intelligence all have hard carries. Uh, mostly Agility have the most because since they scale with attack speed. And so when you get a lot of damage and you scale it with attack speed and Agility, it usually goes really well. But there's also carries in Strength. Uh, I would say it's Agility has the most and Strength has the second most and then Int has the third. Intelligence, as you'd think, has the most cast, the, the best uh, abilities uh, casting. We're waiting for Eric, I think. Yeah, I, I canceled it immediately since I was like, let me check this. So, pretty much, um, like I said, the intelligence ca characters usually have a lot of spells, um, are usually mostly spell oriented. Some of them do well with auto attack, but most are just uh, built, built around, you know, just your casting spells and positioning. Agility is mostly farm, um, farming. Usually you want to farm until you're like three or four or five items deep and then you can single-handedly carry. You are the true carry. They can also play mid though and some of them can be played support but you know it's not, not, not many of them. Like maybe Vengeful can be played support, Nyx, but um, usually these guys are the hard carry. They, you, you want, you, as a support, you're setting up for these guys single-handedly. Like in Smite, for example, um, you, you, as a support, you still get farm. You still want to farm yourself. You still want to get levels yourself. But no, in, in Dota, it's more play for your carry. You are a true support. When you're supporting someone, you're giving everything to them because they are the hard carry. Um, and then strength usually is the initiator slash hard carry. can be hard carry as well. Um, just because when you have a ton of HP and a ton of damage, usually you, you can you can be the you know take the blunt of the damage plus dish out a ton. But usually they're mostly initiator, centaur, clockwork, initiators, earthshaker, initiator. Um, some characters so ca some characters can combo 
better than others, right? So like Earthshaker can do well with strength and intelligence, right? Because he casts a lot of spells as a strength uh, uh, hero. Um, but so he needs a lot of intelligence so he can cast often. Um, and there's combos goes backwards as well. And intelligence, some, you know, you still want some HP so you don't get one shot and you don't go full int builds. You want some, you know, strength in your builds. You could go, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is. And agility goes both ways. Some characters need intelligence to cast some spells and they also need strength to survive. So that's how it combos, uh, in Dota. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the vid. We'll be talking more and making more vids about Dota. It's a good little introduction.